would America train and supply a black military? Part one. Let's talk about it. made a couple of videos where I proposed that uh, maybe black people should consider uh, going to the Congress and the House of Representatives and working out a deal to get a black military. Now, I get a lot of opposition from this idea. And the main reason I get opposition from this idea is because um, people are emotional. A lot of black people are emotional about their relationship with white Americans. And also, people have a tendency to use the worst terminology or idea when it comes to these type of things. So. One thing you'll notice if you see the comments after I make this presentation. Some of your more radical blacks, they will use words like beg. They would use words like give. America won't help. They will use words like that because from their mentality, the only way they can see this happening is through a begging type of situation, which is a bigger problem uh, with black people in America, especially the black man. He is so far removed from a military mind state that he doesn't know the difference between begging and negotiation. Now, my basis for this was based on a few things. One, based on the fact that blacks, a lot of blacks in America want to return to Africa. Two, a lot of blacks, uh, if they did return to Africa, I feel they would need security. I also feel the African people would need security because I feel there are certain rulers in Africa that would not want us to come there and liberate the poor African people that many of these rich African rulers and many of these tribes that mistreat the other tribes would not want a third party coming there and upsetting things and liberating the people that they oppress. Okay? So you would need a military. But another basis of it is that I feel America needs to develop a new ally. I feel that whites in America cannot trust Europe. And I think it's very beneficial for America to make peace with blacks in America and to become allies with blacks in America. This conversation is not good for emotional, his, historical black people that they just got, you know, all they want to do is keep talking about slavery, slavery, and, you know, they got all this emotion. A lot of these black people would rather not get anywhere and keep that mentality 
than negotiate and actually get liberated. They would rather stay mad and stay second class citizens than, negoti than to negotiate and become liberated. So I propose that the American government put together a military of blacks in America and send us to Africa where we will carve out areas and take things and set up a more righteous Africa and do trade with America. And for some of these brothers to be so uh, black power, whatever, they were so emotional. Their responses was like girls. They couldn't even, they don't have a general or a military, you know, mind state to even discuss the matter. You know, and from my point of view, if you don't have another plan on the table, then your position is weak. If you're RBG or you're black power or whatever, and your movement been in existence since the 60s, and you don't even have a tank or a helicopter, you don't have one airplane. So, I mean, what could you say? You're not in a position to say anything because you have not accomplished anything for black people. The militant faction of the black community in America has not provided us with protection with the police force or with the military. It's just a fact. So some people that can't provide you with a military should be the last people to criticize somebody that has a suggestion. The suggestion is based on the fact that your shit, you ain't put nothing on the table. And I'm the type of person, like I said, before you can knock down my idea, you're going to have to lay a plan out. You're going to have to show me the opposing idea, which not one black brother that made comments on my video, not one of them have ever said anything close to an opposite idea to get a military. All they said is what I'm saying ain't going to work, which is typical. Now, let me break down this negotiation. You see, when you negotiate, you don't negotiate from a point of weakness. So this is why so many of these so-called revolutionaries are upset at me, because they're not revolutionaries and they're imagining that I'm going to try to negotiate this from a point of weakness. No, I'm negotiate that from a point of strength. That's how I would negotiate that. I wouldn't negotiate that based off of that's most important for us. I would negotiate that based on it. It's just as important for America as it is for us. Now, one of the biggest problems in America and the one hurdle that blacks can't get over is the fear from white America of retaliation because of slavery. Take away that fear of retaliation and you will find that a lot of racism will go away. Things would calm down. Some people say no, because they're so caught up in the history that they're trying, they mispaint history. There was a whole lot of wars in history and you just lost. Now, you have black radicals that would say, we do not need Europeans to help us get a military. We can fight on our own and take all of our natural resources in Africa, right? Well, guess what? That's a part of my negotiation. Because if blacks have to rise up on their own and go and take everything in Africa, then that would leave whites in the cold with zero. So let's say right now they're stealing 
and they're getting 90 percent. And there's a threat, according to you black militants, that you'll rise up one day and take it all and they won't get nothing. Then my negotiation is build me a military and I'll go take it and I'll sit up in a righteous matter and we can do fair trade. And you would get way more than nothing. You wouldn't be robbing the place. But you would be living good with fair trade. Because all the emotional people don't know what they're talking about. Africa could be set up in a way where everybody could be living good. Africans and everybody all over the world. Africa could be the number one tourist attraction in the world set up in a righteous manner. The Africans could be living very well and all the different people we trade with could be living pretty good without them just stealing everything. Now, you have Pan-Africans. And Pan-Africans, if you listen to them close, they talk out of both sides of their mouth. Because the Pan-African would tell me that the white man ain't going to give you no military. And if I don't say anything to this Pan-African and just let them talk for a few weeks, they'll get right on Facebook and Twitter and say, we want reparations. Whoa, I thought you said the white man wasn't going to give you nothing. If the white man's not going to give you nothing, stop fucking talking about reparations. You ain't going to, according to you, you ain't going to get reparations. But then you weak. So a weak motherfucker, no, you ain't going to get nothing. So for all you black brothers out there to say that the white man wouldn't give me no military. No, he wouldn't give your punk ass no military because you ain't a gangster and you don't know how to make an offer that a motherfucker can't refuse. Let's keep it a billion because you a weak motherfucker. And you would go in there like a pussy. And so now you wouldn't get nothing. Whereas I would go and I would explain how England can't be trusted. Germany cannot be trusted. Okay? That the same way they look at blacks in America as an enemy, whites in America got a lot of enemies. They got radical Islam and all the other European countries are not interested in sharing. This is why in the scriptures, when they talk about the beast, it shows the beasts have different heads. And it's every time the beast try to make a move, what? A piece of chip. So it ain't like they get along. It's not like Germany, Italy, and England likes America being on top. Slowly, they're taking America down. And the plans of the future is to make America nothing but a place where you make stuff. They want to break America down to where America's making toothbrushes and making things and sending them all over the world. They don't want us to be on the top over here in America. They don't want America on the top no more. Now, one thing I always teach young black youth, when I'm talking to the average people out there, what I say to them, we'll never be taken as serious as I was talking to Congress and the Senate and the House of Representatives. Now, see, they would take this conversation way more serious than some bootleg black power dudes and some of y'all motherfuckers that really ain't on no high level. Y'all ain't on no, y'all ain't on no high political, militarized level. So what I say a lot of times in the community are sounds simple, but it don't sound simple to the people up at the top. Because up at the top, they're the ones worried about how they can keep their position in Africa. They're the ones that see how they're being undermined by this country and that country. They're the ones seeing how much they're being hacked by European countries and China and everybody's hacking America. They're the ones seeing how the Germans and everybody's trying to steal all their military secrets. So my point of negotiation from the black side is, well, you owe 
I need my money. I need to get my money. Now, if I'm negotiating with the United States to get reparations, I don't want money. I want military. I don't want no fucking money. I don't want no money. That's different between me and y'all. Okay? I'm not just named federal. I don't want money. I want military. If I'm going to be repaid for the free labor we did in America, I want to be paid with tanks, aircraft carriers, jets, helicopters, and military. In return, I will provide the treaty to say that all beef is squashed. We squat, we dead the beef. Because I would be willing to dead the beef to liberate black people than to hold on to the beef and keep black people a second class citizen. This is something over y'all's head. Now, a part of these negotiations, now we're going to get to the rough part. And I'm not threatening anybody because all of this is, I'm just giving you a scenario. So don't say, oh, I said I'm going to do all this because this is a scenario, how this would really work in real life. In real life, if I have the opportunity to go before the Senate and the Congress to talk to them about structuring a black military and setting up a system where they could slowly start to put black people in Africa. And this conversation is not for you all that keep wanting to say you Hebrews and, and Native Americans. Go somewhere where they're saying they're Hebrews and Native Americans and stop being a pussy and, you know, feeling lonely and always trying to sell your pussy ass mentality on everybody. That's not what we're talking about. That's what you think you are. Take your pussy ass and be a Hebrew or be a fucking Native American. Why you got to come over here where we're talking as if we Africans? We ain't talking that shit you talk. Because I ain't going to fucking be no Native American when there's diamonds and golds in Africa. You're a fucking idiot. But anyway, when you start talking about this negotiation, this negotiation is based on the fact that we want to be able to leave. A lot of them want us to leave. We would need military protection if we go. And we are owed reparations. On top of that, the United States can't trust China, can't trust Japan. If they think that they could drop a bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki and trust Japan, they got another thing coming. You know, Henry Clark say, black folks had no friends. Well, guess who else ain't got no friends? White Americans. They don't got no friends. And you people, some of y'all on YouTube and stuff, I think, I don't know what I'm talking about, but the Senate and the Congress and House of Representatives and them, they know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, when you're negotiating, that's what it is, is negotiations. It's not begging. And you negotiate from a position of power. And with the current decline of America, and with America starting to get more and more and more and more enemies, with America slowly starting to lose its grip in Asia, in Africa, in South America. Right now, they're at a weaker position. They're at a position where you can negotiate. And if you haven't been paying attention to world politics since 79, how you how you going to talk to me about this? This is what I do. I've been paying attention to world affairs. I know what I'm talking about. America's in a situation right now where that could be negotiated. Now, like I said, it's going to get hot. Let's say I was the person to go negotiate this, and I'm going to the Congress and the Senate to tell them, look, give me a black army. I'm going to go to Africa. We ain't going to have no more problems. I'm going to go take all this shit, all these punk-ass Africans over there that's on bullshit mistreating other Africans. They're going to get out and lay down. We're going to fuck the Dutch up. We'll play good cop, bad cop. I'll be the bad cop. 
Y'all keep telling me, stop, stop, stop. Well, I fuck the beers and all them up and shell them over. We take all that shit, right? We take all that motherfucking shit from them. And then we could do some fair trade. I get my big ass cut. You get your motherfucking cut. And we be all good. You see what I'm saying? And let me fix up Africa. And then let, let's make that an ally. And let's get on some righteous shit. Which goes right over people's head. Because people just miss the righteous shit and just go, oh, you know, the white man's a devil. You ain't gonna never do that. Some of you niggas. Is, that's why I say reading on history books got you niggas fucked up. You can't even go into the future. But here go the pie. You'll really enjoy this. When I go to them for this negotiation, these is killers. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marine, Navy SEAL, killers, CIA, FBI, hit squads. They don't want to know, can I control my side? Can I control the black people on my side? Because with black people on my side talking negative about the deal, then I won't, you know, it'll just put a bad apple and it'll ruin the deal. So guess what? Guess what I would have to do if I was going to make this negotiation? I would have to build me a team. And when I go to make this negotiation, if you back out here on these streets talking against these negotiations, guess what will happen to you? Because I got to show these people that you motherfuckers going to shut the fuck up. You're going to ride with my motherfucking program. I got to go in there in a position of power. If I go in there and I can't control black people, if I look like I'm going to go to Africa and they're going to punk me in Africa, no, nah, they ain't going to make the deal. But if it look like niggas going to get out and lay down, they're going to make the deal. So right now, this is not a real plan. But if this was a real plan, it wouldn't be safe for you to speak against me. Like real talk. See, I'm talking that fake revolutionary shit. Like, if I was really on this shit, and I was really trying to get a black military for my people to go to Africa, to carve out some shit, to start getting some independence, to defend myself and have guns and airplanes and shit, and you were some nigga out here talking against that shit, uh, you'll come up missing. Just like that. That way. Because I've been already lined up, black Navy SEALs, black Marines, black police. I've been already lined up, blacks that been in the military, and I've been lined up gang members, and I already have my shit in order. And it'll be no, don't speak against me. See, y'all looking at it like it's some old play foo-foo shit. No, I don't have to be a gangster. I would have to go in here and let these people know that these black people going to do what the fuck I tell them. And that I'm going to run this military just like y'all run y'all military. I ain't going to be like the Af Afghanistan where they some pussies. Where as soon as the Taliban come, all them bitch niggas dropped all them guns and ran. America get them all that shit to try to get liberated. As soon as the rebels come, them pussies ran. Nah, ain't none of that. So, yeah, it's safe to talk that shit now. But if this was real negotiation, it wouldn't be safe for you to be talking that shit. Straight up. You wouldn't even want no smoke. So I would have to go and make this negotiation from a position of strength. I wouldn't be able to, not y'all mentality, ain't no begging shit. We talking gangster shit. I'd have to show these motherfuckers, man, you give me these tanks and shit like that. I'm going to go over there and take all this shit. Okay, the beers, how much diamonds the beers taking? And how much y'all get? Okay, the Africans ain't getting nothing. The Dutch and all them getting all this. Y'all getting a little bitty ass motherfucking cut. I can go over there and take that shit. And Africa can get a big ass cut. And y'all can have way more than what y'all getting fucking with the beers, you know? It's a win-win. And we could treat Africa righteous and have, have, have Africa so beautiful and have them living so good, they're going to ride out. Because the bottom line, are they going to be living good? Or are they going to still be oppressed? So when I say go and set up a righteous Africa and have everything nice, niggas just miss right over that and just say, oh, it ain't going to be on all that. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Because most of y'all, that's all y'all is, is talkers. Y'all don't really be planning no big shit like that. 
Most of you motherfuckers work nine to five, can't even plan no company. You ain't even you ain't even no entrepreneur. Not alone talk about no shit on the level what I'm talking about. Real talk. I'm not listening to no red, black, and green, black power motherfuckers that constantly keep getting punked and constantly keep getting shot and getting their guns taken from them and getting killed and shit and don't never retaliate. I would never fuck with y'all. The, the black power movement has been proven to be soft and some pussies. Okay? They have been being punks since the 60s. Okay? Marching around with guns and shit, and every time shit got hot, them niggas folded. Okay? That's why Asada's running. She's running because niggas folded. So I ain't trying to hear nothing from no niggas honoring Asada when she running because the other niggas punked out and really wasn't about that fucking life. Okay? They wasn't about that life. I'm talking about motherfuckers about that life. Real military. I ain't talking about this fake shit y'all be on with this RBG shit and this black power. I ain't talking about, I'm talking about real military shit for real. The military, a military. Not no fake shit where you dress like a security guard. No, military. Serious business. To go and liberate your people. You see? Then y'all want to sit up there and tell me I don't know what I'm talking about and then quote Malcolm X. I could have sworn Malcolm X said by any I could have sworn Malcolm X said by any by any means necessary. What does any mean necessary? What does that mean? That don't include getting your military by any means necessary? Oh, now that I want to do it this way, y'all don't really mean any means, right? Right? Y'all don't mean any means. So all you can say is, White man ain't gonna give you shit. Not a white man gonna give you shit. This is what you're supposed to say when a European tell you go back to Africa. You say, "Give me a military. Give me a military. I'm out of here. I go to the prisons and have paperwork drawn up by the United States government. Who don't want to do their twenty, thirty years? Want to go over here with me? Okay, you go over here with me. Be a head busser. Get in this military. Okay? We make it do what it's do. Some of y'all stay over here and deal with my opposition, and then we'll fly y'all over later. I don't want to hear that bullshit. I'm trying to figure out a way to help black people for real so we can go and, and carve out our own shit. And since the black man ain't doing no manufacturing, ain't making no guns, ain't making no aircraft carry, you're going to tell me, don't go and negotiate with the Europeans to get aircraft carriers and helicopters and shit, but your black ass ain't got it. So you're supposed to tell me, man, you ain't got to go negotiate with them to get it. You can go negotiate with us to get it, but we ain't got it. You ain't seen them armies in Africa? No, Boku Haram wasn't scared of them. Man, them armies ain't shit. Them armies over there, the same thing y'all saying that you don't, that I shouldn't go get set up and be independent. That's better than being puppets like the Africans and got the French and the Dutch bringing them guns when they feel like it. A lot of times, by the time they bring them motherfuckers guns, it'd be too late. No, I'm talking about setting it up in a situation where we just getting a starter kit. Once we get a starter kit and we get set up in Africa from that point on, we'll manufacture our own shit. But for us to manufacture our own guns and shit like that, we need security. Don't y'all see what happened in Iran? Iran tried to fucking have a nuclear plant. And what? Israel was going to what? Bomb it if they still don't blow that shit up. So Iran had to sit down at the table and get some money from America and make a deal that they wouldn't build a shit. Why? Because you got to have a military to even build a military. Real talk. So my thing is this. Okay. You say this ain't no good plan. 
All right, you got to come with a plan. I need to see some videos how black people can get a military. And I don't want to hear no foo-foo shit. I ain't talking about no five niggas walking around with red, black, and green on and some old motherfucking guns that can't hit airplanes. They ain't motherfucking uh, ground to air missiles and shit. That motherfucking shit can't do nothing. They got better shit than that right here in Chicago in the armory. They bring the National Guard here and go in the army and come and blow all you niggas away. You ain't got no the proper weapons. You got to get the proper weapons. And that takes negotiation. And I feel like right now, America's at the position for negotiation. America need an ally. And so when, when you in a position and you say this is your enemy and your enemy got you fucked up, you want to get in a better situation. When you see your enemy gets in a weakness, this is a time you can go negotiate. Now, do you want to negotiate to destroy your in enemy or do you want to negotiate to liberate yourself? Sometimes you got to choose. Sometimes they don't go both together. You know, black people, we're going to have to stop thinking about revenge and just think about liberation. Fuck the revenge. OK, Ah, no revenge. Give me the guns. Give me the military. Let us set ourselves up in Africa. Let us start mining our own shit and getting our own shit and doing the trade. And we could be fair partners. I would make that deal in a heartbeat. Call me whatever the fuck you want to call me. Because it's better than the deal you got now. You got no deal. You're being gentrified out of your neighborhoods. You don't even have a fucking police department. You don't have proper schools. You don't have nothing. So how's a motherfucker with nothing going to shoot down an idea to get something without a better idea to get something? Where the fuck they do that at? I got to sit up here and look at some nigga that just been eating Kentucky Fried Chicken. Try to get on the internet, try to tell me something. Like, boy, if you don't sit your greasy lip, a slave chicken eating ass down somewhere and shut the fuck up. You ain't no nothing, okay? You ain't on shit, all right? Real talk. All that, I be seeing motherfuckers on the internet talking all that rah rah sis coon by. That ain't gonna get us nowhere. Man, we need aircraft carriers, we need submarines. We need, we need weaponry. We need our own place. And we done been in America. America owe us. America need a favor. America owe us. Boom. There it is right there. Let's make it happen. All that shit about, oh, you want to deal with the white man and all that shit. It's like, okay, I can't deal with you, nigga. Shut the fuck up. How the nigga I can't deal with going to try to tell me who to deal with? When in the hood, niggas are selling Percocets. The black man make Percocets. The black man make lean. The black man make Xanax. Huh? The black man making this cocaine and heroin. Y'all selling all over the motherfucking place. The black man making them fucking gym shoes y'all got on and them sissy ass pants y'all got on around y'all motherfucking hips. Huh? Don't tell me nothing about asking a white man for shit. That's all you do every day. That's all you do. That's all you do is ask the white man to keep your lights on and your gas and shit. You got the nerve to say not going to make a bigger negotiation. I'd rather get military than to fucking keep sitting here begging for gas and lights and shit. Because you motherfuckers is begging now anyway. That's what's fucked up about it. You're going to say you ask the white man for something. Some nigga that's asking the white man for something. Some nigga on YouTube telling me don't ask the white man for something. And YouTube is owned by Google. And there's some wild white people. Some nigga on Facebook saying don't ask the white man for something and you constantly begging the white man to log you in the motherfucking Facebook. Man, all that old fake ass shit. Nigga, if you ain't about asking the white man for something, get your bitch ass off of YouTube. That's the white man shit. Get your bitch ass off of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Show me you don't want nothing from the white man. Get the fuck off of social media. I'm from the old school. All this internet shit. I'm from back in the day. I come in your house, open your refrigerator. Ah, Coke, Pepsi. Oh, is them cool cigarettes? That's Newport. 
I'll bust all you niggas out. Y'all niggas' house is full of products from the European country companies and shit. Got the nerve talking about you don't want to beg the white man. So you beg the white man for cigarettes and shit every fucking day. Eric Garner got killed selling white man cigarettes. Okay? On the corner selling cigarettes from the white man. Everything y'all do, y'all get on the white man's media and holler black power every motherfucking day. Got the nerve to go and buy guns from the white man and make a video say you're going to kill the white man and you trying to say my motherfucking shit? What's the difference in me negotiating for a whole military and you going to the store? Here, master, let me get a gun and just five bullets that ain't going to do shit. Let me have inferior weapons. Let me have some weapons that's inferior. Because all them guns and shit you niggas got, them guns ain't worth shit, okay? Them guns ain't worth shit. Them 45, them guns, y'all shit, that shit ain't war material. I see y'all niggas pulling out them AKs and shit. Them ain't the real shit. Them shits ain't war weather. You can't win no war with them raggedy ass motherfucking guns y'all got. So it's like, yeah, I put the cards on the table. I said, let's no, let's negotiate for a military so we can go into Africa and have security so our babies and women and children's arms won't be getting chopped off like they did in Liberia. I ain't gonna listen to no nigga in Africa tell me it's safe. How the fuck you mean it's safe? When y'all raping how many women a motherfucking day? How many girls? Y'all raping girls all up in Ethiopia as, as young as eight years old. Motherfucker gonna tell me I should go to dusty ass Ghana. Man, I ain't trying to go shit without no motherfucking guns. You can get the fuck out of here. I ain't none you bootleg niggas from Bootlegville, USA. Man, I'm from Chicago. Fuck wrong with you. I ain't going nowhere without no guns. Get the fuck out of here. I don't go. These niggas in Chicago don't go to the store without guns. What the fuck make you think we're going to go all the way to Africa without a gun? And I ain't going nowhere without no gun. I'm trying to go over there looking for no friends. So, of course, I'm looking for a military. Whoever the fuck could give it to me. And the United States would give it to me. Y'all know what the fuck y'all talking about. They'll give us a military. The only reason they won't give us a military because all you pussy-ass niggas out there saying they won't give it to you. They won't give us nothing. They ain't going to give us nothing. They ain't going to do nothing for us. Henry Clark said they ain't going to give us shit. Henry Clark said they ain't going to give us shit. Henry Clark said... I don't give a fuck what Henry Clark said, man. That's y'all God. Henry Clark ain't my fucking God. I don't give a fuck what he said. Because it is what it is. I ain't listening to none of that motherfucking 1950 shit. I ain't listening to that. It's 2017. We need fucking action. We need to see some fucking results. I don't listen to niggas selling books, selling me motherfucking fairy tales. I don't, wanna, I don't give a fuck about that shit. And y'all some motherfucking idol worshippers. That's one reason we ain't getting nowhere. Y'all sitting around reading all that bullshit all motherfucking day. All motherfucking day, y'all reading that bullshit. You want to read that shit? Some nigga tell me, well, brother, history is important. I'm like, why? History ain't important worth shit. The future's important. You don't have babies backwards. You have babies forward. My baby ain't going back to college. My baby going forward to college. Forward ever. Backwards never. And then I get Africans come over there and talk all crazy to me. Well, look, you're talking crazy to me, and then you ask them, why well, I want to come there with tanks and shit on your ass? You just answer the question, Mabudu. Yeah, I want to come over there and have the ability to fuck your ass up if you step on my toes. Okay? Real motherfucking talk. I wouldn't give a fuck what you wear. You could be a Hebrew or whatever the fuck. You're stepping on the toes. You're ah, where I'm coming from. I'm from Chicago. And I'm taking that Chicago mentality and taking it on a global level. Who's the fucking I? Step your ass up and get dealt with. Okay? Because, hey, if we ain't going to get no damn liberation. Oh, no, can't do this. And can't do that. And can't do this. And can't do that. And yeah, read this. This is the melanin. And my chakras and, and the red and the, the metal metal said this. And Joseph said this. And Israel said this. And Mohammed said this. And man, 
Yeah, all right. That's all right every now and then. Okay, I take a little bit of that. I take a little bit of that. Wait, what? Ten percent? How many people have been asking me, hey man, do the Bible, do the uh uh Bible intelligence? I the reason I don't do that because it's just some fun shit. It ain't it ain't relevant. So I'm not finna do no whole lot of Bible intelligence shit. But we ain't got no water in Flint. We ain't got no police department. We ain't got no fire department. On top of that, I got balls. I'm talking about going and talking to the Senate and the Congress and the House of Representatives. I'm not talking about standing around on video talking to each other. So my folks don't want to give me credit because I'm on some boss shit. Y'all just stand around talking to each other because some pussies, okay? What you scared? You motherfuckers should have been went to Washington, D.C. when Obama was in office. All that shit y'all telling me about Obama, why you didn't take your pussy ass down there and tell him? He was sitting right there. Show me one video of some black conscious motherfuckers in Washington, D.C. trying to do something. Seriously. None. Claude Anderson went to Washington, D.C., tried to get reparations. He didn't get reparations. And he said he didn't get it because the Obama administration was blocking him. But that ain't true. He didn't get it because he didn't have enough black support. And when you don't have no support, you get blocked. That's why they blocked them. Because the rest of you motherfuckers talking all that shit, y'all didn't even know he was there doing it. Nobody made no videos. And I've been watching videos, black conscious videos for how long? I didn't see no videos informing us. You know, Claude Anderson is there trying to get reparations. Maybe we should go try to help him. You don't see that kind of shit. Like when it's time for the big shit to step up, to go to the Congress, you know, check this out. Y'all motherfuckers saying y'all comedic. A lot of y'all motherfuckers saying y'all comedic. A lot of y'all saying y'all royal Hebrews and shit. Y'all great Moors, great Moorish leaders, right? So here you are, you this great leader. Here's the white administration and they leaders. Now you a leader, but you won't go talk to the other leaders? You always down talking, Christians ain't nothing, this ain't nothing. You're supposed to be a boss. You're supposed to, we was all kings and queens, but you won't go talk to a congressman or a senator? That makes sense to y'all? And people say, they'll tell you no. And I'm a G. I need you to tell me no. I don't be imagining nobody gonna tell me no. You gotta tell me no. I'm not gonna be like, I ain't gonna go down there. Because they're going to tell me, no, no, I'm going to go down there. You're going to have to tell me, no. That's the difference between a rider and a slider. You got to tell me, no. Okay? You can't just say that shit. And I mean, I was just, first when I was talking about this, it was just a suggestion. But I got so much negative shit and shit like that. I'm sitting up and I'm thinking, okay. But I can't even go down there and present it. Because I can't present it until I change the mind of y'all. As long as y'all mind fucked up, it ain't going to work because there's too many motherfuckers going to be in the back typing it ain't going to work. Y'all undercutting. Basically, y'all motherfuckers are saboteurs anyway. You know, because what kind of black motherfucker wouldn't cheer and say, man, it'd be great if you did get aircraft carriers and shit. Nah, you motherfucker, you ain't going to get that undercutting. You ain't going to get that. You know, say the whole thing. When you say, I ain't going to get that, say the whole sentence. Say, you ain't going to get that. You ain't going to get nothing like I ain't got nothing. Say that, nigga, because you ain't got nothing. Every one of you niggas that say, I can't get that, you ain't got shit. You barely got a pea shooter to protect your wife and fucking kids. Real talk. You niggas can't even expunge niggas from their crimes in the hood. You got the nerve to try to talk to me about some political shit. Shut the fuck up when I'm on some ball shit if you're a fucking P.I. You know, go read your fucking Chancellor Williams books and shit and shut the fuck up and stay down there on the P.I. on fucking level. Okay? Because them niggas wasn't no bosses on no boss political shit. Ain't nobody talking about shit. Amos Wilson... Claude Anderson and Boyce Watkins. The rest of them niggas wasn't talking about shit. Okay? Yeah. That way. Nothing. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear all this the sophisticated and the melanin and the European and the, I don't want to hear that shit, man. We need cars. We need homes. We need construction. Like, come on with some real shit. 
Every time somebody start trying to make these videos say they're going to talk some real shit, it'd be like bullshit. They never get to the next level. You know why? Because you can't get cars. You can't get construction. You can't get military as long as the mentality of the masses is fucked up like the mentality is. Y'all mentality fucked up. Y'all got a defeatist ass mentality. So y'all whole mentality is we can't get... You You ain't fighting to get nothing. And when somebody else suggests, well, why don't we try this? Mass ain't going to let us get that. That's what uh, black power niggas sound, sound like to me. Mass ain't going to let you get no military. That's what you're saying. I don't give a fuck how you try to paint it. When you say that they not going to do it, you is a pussy. You is a defeatist. You're saying you ain't got no power. They ain't going to respect you. They punk my great 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 granddaddy, and that's how they gonna punk you. No, they punked your punk ass great great granddaddy, nigga. I ain't your great fucking granddaddy, nigga. It's 2017. This ain't fucking Black Wall Street. This a whole new era. That's what history do. If you're gonna keep reading that shit, go get a rope and go hang your own stuff on the damn tree. You're gonna keep reading about hangings? Read a book to say, ain't no motherfucker going to hang me. Where that book at? I read that. Ain't no motherfucker going to hang me. Ain't no motherfucker going to stop me. Where that book at? I read that. I don't want to read no book about how they stopped us. Brother, you should read some history about how they stopped us. I'll be like, you should shut the fuck up and go get your bucket of chicken with the kernel on it and eat your chicken, you poo butt ass nigga. Okay, that's what should get done. You should shut the fuck up and stop talking to me. I swear to God, I can't wait to go on these book tours. I cannot wait. Okay? I cannot wait to come to all your cities. Okay? I cannot wait. Trust me on that. All right? Ain't with all that rah rah sis going by. All right? I ain't with that. I ain't going to keep it a billion. I ain't with this fake ass shit. Come with some programs to show black people how they going to get something. How can we get a real military? I know dusty ass niggas in red, black, and green marching around that can't defend shit. Okay? We need real police department. You know, with a building and cars and fucking handcuffs and cells. You know, a real helicopter. Some of you niggas like, now nah, she ain't gonna let us get no helicopter. Man, this nigga talking outside his name. Now nah, she ain't gonna never give us no helicopter. Now nah, she ain't gonna give us no helicopter. So it's like black people that are motivated enough. That's why they don't fuck with y'all. That's why they don't fuck with y'all. That's why the Michael Jordans and the Jay-Z's and them, that's why they don't fuck with y'all. Because every time they try to do something great,